what is your name? Jeremy Bales. Jeremy Bales, and what are you running here? Uh, Little Mo Nasty. Uh, it's an 06 Colorado. Uh, I, I actually got it out of uh, Utah, built by Roger Scott. And what are you running for a, a power plant on this thing? 632. So, Do you know roughly how many horses that's coming out to? Uh, it was 11, rear wheel dyno is 1196 without the nitrous. Getting kind of excited to do this? I uh, Yeah, adrenaline's pumping already. So got second last year. Oh, that you really want to beat or anything? Uh, dirty dog. So we just have both stepped it up, and right now we run so close together. Well, I haven't ran him since he put juice on, but I probably shouldn't indulge that information. But um, he's fast. He's definitely fast. It's a Jeep Kaiser pickup. It's a M715. Sorry, I jumped right into that. What was your name again? Tyler. Tyler Cafferty. And where, where do you come from? Here in Moses Lake. Finally got the Jeep running pretty good, so I mean, we're going to give it a shot, and if it makes it through the bounty hole, then I'll do the freestyle and try to full send it, you know. Ah, everybody likes the freestyle. <laughs> yes, sir. So what are you running for a motor there? Uh, it's a 440 Mopar. <laughs> Dana 60 front, Dana 70 rear, 44 inch tall boggers. And see what she'll do. She looks tiny compared to these other ones. And uh, top it off there. Ah, God bless America. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> So I'm here with Chris Grimla, and he's a local boy. So he's probably been in these dunes before, haven't you? Oh yeah, lots. And what are you running here? Uh, it's a 78K30 on factory one tons. It's got a Dana 60 front, 14 rear, 538 gear, spool front, locker rear. Uh, you know, I just did drive lines, brakes. Um, I swapped out the four speed for a turbo 400, had to rebuild the 205 and just re-geared everything. Um, it's running twice as good as it was last year and that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping to make it twice as far as I did last year. What, how did you place last year? Uh, I was probably dead last, I imagine. I took the wrong line, I didn't follow everybody else's and I just sank in the mud 100 feet off the start. And who am I standing with today? My name's Corey Carpenter. This truck came out of Texas. Ryan Dilla built it here about 10 years ago. This truck has run a lot down south. Hint the stickers on the back window. Uh, it will get up on top and run most days. Perfect, perfect. And tell us a little bit about your motor, your transmission, tires, and all that. Uh, big cut tractor tires, big block Chevrolet, running 150% blower on a 600 cubic inch blower with about 600 cubes below it. And have you ever ran here before or is this your first time? This will be our first time in Moses Lake. Perfect, perfect. Have you ever ran in sand before, like something like this, or just deep mud? Uh, we've done a lot of sand. We grew up here in Moses Lake. We are a Moses Lake crew, and yeah, we've run a lot of stuff, but not this one. Her man, she's got, she's pretty throaty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she will, she'll run. Just south about 2,000 horsepower, probably 1,500 in that range.
And here's the driver. What was your name? Charles. And uh, what what are you running for a motor and all that? Give me some specs on this thing. Uh, it's just 632. It's power glide. It really gets with it. Mud drags it does. I don't know about this. So I'm with Joe Miller and his rig is the King Clover. Can you tell us a little bit about the King Clover? King Clover is a 72 Chevy pickup. Uh, it was a C20, now it's uh, whatever this is. Um, it's got big block Chevy in it and a turbo 400. SCS transfer case, two and a half ton Rockwells, 14924 uh, BKTs. You've been here before, haven't you? No, I haven't been here before. This is my first shot. Uh, oh, virgin! I've I've tried a few times. Uh, just life happened, and I wasn't able to make it. So, and how is it running today? Pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, it's liking the cooler temperatures. Um, so yeah, I think we'll be. The truck will perform well. How, how well it does against the competitors, I don't know. Not gonna call anybody out this time? I'm not calling anybody out this time. What about someone that's not here? Um, not yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess I could call out my brother uh, just because he's a Ford guy, so. Chevy versus Ford. Cameron Ford guy. Uh, I'm an everything guy, but I am driving a Ford today. Wow, top 10. Top 10, huh? That'd be amazing. I can't wait. Uh, my name is Brian Hesse. I'm here from Moses Lake. Um, in fact, when Daniel Buchanan and them started this uh, bounty hole here 2011, uh, I put in 100 bucks plus nine others for the first $1,000. So that was my first one. And then a couple years later, I totaled my rig out. So I was off a few years, but then came back with Dirty Dog 2 right here uh, in 2017. And uh, definitely won't miss one from here on out. Um, it's a 2017 Colorado uh, racing in the dirt out of Wisconsin, built the chassis for me. Um, and it's got a 632 cubic inch big block. Um, I've got a shot of nitrous this year for it. We'll see when my number comes, if I'm gonna shoot today or not. Replacing in the, in the previous years. Uh, 2017, the first time I ever drove it, I brought it out here. It just got back from Wisconsin the night before. Uh, I won that year, and then every year since, I've either been second or third. I uh, can't quite get to the top again because there's such good competition. So I'm here at Moses Lake Bounty Hole, and man, this rig is no joke for being here. He's ran this before. I've seen it on the internet. He's got these big old scoopy tires on here. Why don't you tell me, uh, what is your name? Ron. Ron Pels. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this rig? It's 40 Chev Coupe, um, 632, two stages of NOS and paddles all the way around. So far as a spectator out here looking and watching you, what would you say to them? Enjoy the show. A lot of money's being thrown away. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
happen. I've, I've actually seen the Saltine in action. And it, it can get with it. Tell me a little bit about your truck and how it's built and motor and everything. So it's a 95 Ranger body. It's got a 460 with a little extra juice. Um, my brother and I built it two years ago now. And so far it's been decent. Anybody that's here? If I would call someone out, it would be my brother. Well, yeah, Chevy Ford thing. I'm with you. I think it's time for a, for a little Ford to beat a big Chevy. Yeah, yeah, it would be kind of cool, for sure. Mick Barnes from Drome, Idaho. And uh, have you ever ran this before? No. This is your first time? First time. Perfect. 500 miles to find out this road I ain't real good. <laughs> what are you running for a, a rig here? Uh, I call it a 4748 Jeep with a big block Chevrolet in her. Well, it might be different. You gotta make a curve in it. Uh, this thing don't turn real well, so we'll see. Hopefully it does. That usually puts on a pretty good show. It's, it, it's been in two magazines before, back when I used to run it. 